Hi. So here we have question number 32 from the series now. Let's have a look at this question. Mukesh purchased 10 bicycles in 2017, all at the same price. He sold six of these at a price of 25% and remaining four at a loss of 25%. If he made a total profit of rupees 2000, then the purchase price of a bicycle was. So here the question has already given you something in terms of rupees. So normally we say in such cases, we can't assume the absolute values. I myself would have told this to you that if absolute values are given, you can't assume that number. But even if you are assuming in that case, I am saying then use extrapolation. I mean, if I have assumed this question is talking about this. So what is the relation between them? By what factor it has increased or decreased? For example, let us say the cost price of a bicycle is equal to $100, right? Let us say the cost price of one bicycle is $100. He says he purchased 10 bicycles. 10 bicycles means of $1,000. That is his total cost. He sold six of these at a profit of 25%. So six of them are sold for $125 each because a profit of $25. $125 into 60 is $750. And the remaining four at a loss of 25%. A loss of 25% means for $75. So the remaining four are sold for $75. That means for a total of $300. So I see that my total selling price comes out to be $1,050. Whereas my cost was $1,000. So can I say I have a profit of $50? I have a profit of $50. But... The question says that he made a profit of 2,000 rupees. What does that mean? $50,050 is equal to 2,000 rupees or $1 is equal to 40 rupees. If $1 is 40 rupees, what is the purchase price of a bicycle? We have assumed this as $100. $1 is 40 rupees. So $100 is 4,000 rupees. That's it. Your job is done. It's such an easy question. Once again, from the same slot of the same year of CAT, CAT does ask you easy questions. Please accept the fact. Okay, that's all guys. Thank you very much.